When you are done creating all your components in the design library, you are now ready to create a vehicle setup. To create a vehicle setup, go to the simulation tab, go to setup, and select new vehicle setup. The first thing that you'll notice is the validate setup button. This will check if your setup can run a simulation. At a minimum, you must have a reference distance, a front suspension, a rear suspension, a chassis, a drivetrain, and brakes. However, it is recommended that you populate all of the vehicle components. Not all simulations will run without an engine and a gearbox. You can also add components to your vehicle setup using the diagram editor. Here you can drag and drop components from your design library into your vehicle setup. For an at a glance view of all your vehicle parameters, go to the parameters tab here you can see a table of all the vehicle parameters. You can also interact with components in your vehicle setup. Simply double click on the component. You can also edit the component properties. It's important to note that editing components within the vehicle setup will not affect the components in your design library. When you're done configuring your vehicle setup, go ahead and validate it. The validation will check if the vehicle setup can successfully run in the simulation. You are now ready to run a simulation in Optimum Dynamics 